This video will concentrate on how to convert between different concentration units. First, what is concentration again? Remember, concentration is how much solute is dissolved in a given amount of solvent or solution. Think of it like tea. The longer that the tea bag is in the solution, the more solute, tea, will dissolve into the hot water and the tea will be stronger. This is the concept of concentration. The tea particulates are the solutes and the hot water is the solvent. When you mix them together, it makes a tea solution. First, let's review the different concentration units because there are many ways to express concentration. Molarity equals moles of solute divided by liters of solution. In this concentration unit, the liters is important to keep in mind. You may be tempted to express volumes in terms of milliliters, which is fine, but not for molarity. Another way to express concentration units is molality, which is expressed as moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. This is a little different than molarity because we are dividing by kilograms of solvent, not solution, like we do in molarity. The percent mass of component A is the mass of component A divided by the total mass of solution times 100%. Mole fraction is another popular concentration unit. It equals the moles of component A divided by the total moles of the solution. The first step in doing concentration conversions is to take a look at these tables. The biggest issue with doing these types of problems is to recognize the differences between solute, solvent, and solution. Hopefully this first table should help you do this. To go from solute and solvent to solution, just add the amount of grams or moles. This is because mass is never lost or destroyed in any chemical or physical change. This is the law of conservation of mass. In every one of these example problems, you need to learn what you can assume about the solutions being discussed. Since the concentration does not depend on how much solution that you have, it is often convenient to assume that you have enough solvent or solution to make the conversion easier. For example, if you are given the molarity, assume that you have one liter of solution. If given the molality of the solution, assume that you have one kilogram or a thousand grams of solvent. If given the percent mass of the solution, assume that you have a hundred grams of solution. If given the mole fraction of a solution, assume that you have one total mole of solution. To convert between these different units, to go from moles to grams, multiply by the molar mass of the solute. And to go from grams to moles, divide by the molar mass of the solute. To go from the volume of solution to mass of solution, use the density, which equals the mass of a solution divided by the volume of a solution. Or the mass of a solution equals the density times the volume of the solution. Or the volume of the solution equals the mass of the solution divided by the density. The only other thing to keep in mind when doing concentration conversions is to keep your unit prefixes correct. A kilogram is not the same thing as a gram. Let us try several examples. A 0.250 molar aqueous solution of NaCl with formula weight equivalent to 58.44 grams per mole has a density of 1.150 grams per milliliter. What is the molality of the solution? What is the percent NaCl by mass? Since we have 0.250 molar solution of NaCl, let's assume that we have one liter of solution, 1,000 milliliters. And therefore, we will have 0.250 moles of NaCl solute. Let's fill in the table with what we know so far. First question that is asked is what is the molality of the solution? The definition of molality is the moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. We already know the moles of solute, 0.250 moles. To find the kilograms of solvent, we need to use the density to calculate the grams of the solution. Remember, density relates the volume of solution to mass of solution. The mass of a solution is the density times the volume of the solution. So the mass is going to be 1.150 grams per milliliter times 1,000 milliliters, which equals 1,150 grams of solution. To find the mass of the solvent, we need to convert the moles of the solute into grams and then subtract the mass in grams of solute from the mass of the solution. To convert to mass of solute, multiply the number of moles by NaCl's formula weight. This will be 0.250 mole 
times 58.44 grams per mole, equivalent to 14.61 grams of NaCl. To find the mass of the solvent, subtract the mass of the solute from the mass of the solution. 1,150 grams minus 14.61 grams equals 1,135.39 grams or 1.13539 kilograms. Now to find the molality, divide the number of moles by the mass in kilograms of the solvent. 0 0.250 grams divided by 1.13539 kilograms equals 2.20 molal. The next question is what is the percent of NaCl by mass? The definition of percent mass in this example is the mass of NaCl divided by the total mass of solution times 100%. We already have these numbers in the table. The percent mass of NaCl is 14.61 grams divided by 1,150 grams times 100%, which equals 1.27%. The next example is an 8.40 molal aqueous KMnO4 solution with a formula weight of 158.03 grams per mole has a density of 1.320 grams per milliliter. What is the molarity? What is the mole fraction of KMnO4? What is the percent of KMnO4 by mass? Start with the same table and fill in what we can assume and what we know. Since we have an 8.40 molal solution, we can assume that we have 1.0 kilograms or 1,000 grams of solvent and 8.40 moles of solute. The first question it asks is what is the molarity of the solution? The definition of molarity is the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. Remember the liters of solution is related to the mass of solution. To find the mass of solution, first we need to find the mass of the solute. To find the mass of the solute, multiply the moles of solute by the formula weight. 8.40 moles times 1.5803 grams per mole equals 1,327.45 grams. To find the mass of the solution, add the mass of the solute plus the mass of the solvent. 1,327.45 grams plus 1,000 grams equals 2,327.45 grams. To find the volume of the solution, divide the mass of the solution by the density. 2,327.45 grams divided by 1.320 grams per milliliter equals 1,763.22 milliliters or 1.763 liters. To find the molarity of the solution, take the number of moles of solute and divide it by the volume of the solution in liters. 8.4 moles divided by 1.763 liters equals 4.76 molar. The next question asks for the mole fraction of KMnO4. The definition of mole fraction in this example is the moles of KMnO4 divided by the total moles of the solution. Let's make a plan how we're going to find the mole fraction. To find the mole fraction, we need to find the moles of the solution. To find the moles of the solution, first find the moles of solvent and then add it to the moles of solute. To find the moles of solvent, divide the grams of solvent by the molar mass of H2O because the problem said it was an aqueous solution. The molar mass of H2O is 18.016 grams per mole. 1000 grams divided by 18.016 grams per mole equals 55.51 moles. To find the moles of solution, add the moles of solute plus the moles of solvent. 8.40 moles plus 55.51 moles equals 63.91 moles. Let's fill in the table with everything we just calculated. Moles of solvent equals 55.51 moles and moles of solution equals 63.91 moles. To find mole fraction of KMnO4, Divide the moles of solute by the moles of solution. 8.40 moles divided by 63.91 moles equals 0 0.131. The last question asks for percent mass of KMnO4. To find this answer, 
Divide the mass of solute by the mass of solution times 100%. 1,327.45 grams divided by 2,327.45 grams times 100% equals 57.0%. A third example is, a solution is prepared by dissolving 25.00 grams in ACL with a formula weight of 58.44 grams per mole in 240.0 grams of water. The solution has a density of 1.20 grams per milliliter. What is the molarity, molality, percent mass of NaCl, and mole fraction of NaCl? Again, fill in the table with what you know. For this example, I won't reference the table again, so you won't become too dependent on it, but know that it is still there. To find the molarity, you will need to know the moles of solute and liters of solution. To find the moles of solute, Divide the grams of solute, 25.00 grams, by the formula weight of NaCl, 58.44 grams per mole, which equals 0.427 moles of NaCl. To find the liters of solution, add the solute and solvent masses together to find the mass of solution. These masses are 25.00 grams and 240.0 grams respectively, which equals 265.0 grams. Then, divide the mass of solution by the density to find the volume of solution. This is going to be 265.0 grams divided by 1.20 grams per milliliter to find the milliliters of solution, which equals 220.8 milliliters or 0 0.2208 liters of solution. To find the molarity, divide the moles of the solute, 0.427 moles, by the liters of solution, 0 0.2208 liters, to come up with an answer of 1.93 molar. To find the molality, you need to know the moles of the solute and the kilograms of the solvent. The moles of the solute is 0 0.427 moles because you calculated this before. The kilograms of solvent is 0 0.2400 kilograms because there were 240.0 grams of solvent. 0 0.427 moles divided by 0 0.2400 kilograms equals 1.78 molal. Next, to find the percent mass of NaCl, divide the mass of the solute by the mass of the solution times 100%. 25.00 grams divided by 265.0 grams times 100% equals 9.43%. Finally, to find the mole fraction of NaCl, divide the moles of solute by the total moles of solution. The moles of the solute is 0 0.427 because you calculated this before. The total moles of solution need to be calculated by first calculating the moles of solvent and then adding the moles of solute to it. You may be asking yourself, why can't we just calculate the moles of solution from the grams of solution? It's because we do not know a molar mass of the solution. The solution is a mixture of NaCl and water, and this really does not have a molar mass. This is why we have to do it a longer way. To find the moles of the solvent, again, we have an aqueous solution, so take the grams of solvent, 240.0 grams, and divide it by the molar mass of water, 18.016 grams per mole, which equals 13.32 moles. Then, add the moles of the solute, 0 0.427 moles, to the moles of the solvent, 13.32 moles, which equals 13.747 moles. Lastly, to find the mole fraction, divide the moles of solute, 0 0.427 moles, by the total moles of solution, 13.747 moles, to come up with an answer of 0 0.0311. The last example question in this video is an aqueous solution with 15.0% KMnO4 by mass, which has a formula weight of 158.03 grams per mole, which also has a density of 1.305 grams per milliliter. What is the molarity and the molality? For this question, we will assume that we have 100.0 grams of solution and 15.0 grams of solute. For this question, make your own table and fill it out as we go along. To find the molarity, we need to divide the moles of solute by the liters of solution.
To find the moles of solute, take the grams of solute, 15.0 grams, and divide by the formula weight of the solute, 158.03 grams per mole, to find an answer of 0 0.09492 moles of solute. To find the liters of solution, divide the grams of the solution, 100.0 grams, by the density, 1.305 grams per milliliter, which equals 76.63 milliliters, or 0 0.07663 liters. Then divide the number of moles of solute, 0 0.09492 moles, by the liters of solution, 0 0.07663 liters, for an answer of 1.24 molar. To find the molality, we need to divide the moles of solute by the kilograms of solvent. We already know the moles of solute, 0 0.09492 moles, because we calculated it before. To find the kilograms of solvent, subtract the grams of solute, 15.0 grams, from the grams of solution, 100.0 grams, which equals 85.0 grams, or 0 0.0850 kilograms. Divide the moles of solute, 0 0.09492 moles, by the kilograms of solvent, 0 0.0850 kilograms, to come up with an answer of 1.12 molal. You should now have covered the basics of concentration conversions. To become proficient at this topic, you will need to do a lot more practice on your own.